mean a bigger big, one? Like yeah, what? Like a big pointer. I don't think we have one. Like a wand. A wand. I need a yeah. magic wand. That's because this thing with fairy dust. Okay. <laughs> Now, as we continue to go, blood from the heart is going to go through the ascending aorta, okay, through the aortic arch, through the uh, left subclavian artery. Now, the left subclavian, we can't see where it branches here, but there is a branch rather far out, actually, um, if you look at the diagrams. And there is a branch that comes off superiorly from the subclavian artery, and that is the vertebral artery. So the vertebral artery actually branches from here, and then it's going to arch in, and it's actually going to go towards the spine. So it's going to go towards the spine, and it's going to end up going through the um, the uh, vertebral foramen, okay, in the cervical portions of the spine. Now, <clears throat> so this is going to continue to travel superiorly. It actually is going to travel through the base of the skull at the foramen magnum, and the, ver the vertebral arteries are going to join together to form the basilar artery at the base of the brain or the brain stem. The vertebral arteries are going to join together to form this basilar artery right here. Did I say that correctly? Good, okay. So this is the basilar artery. So it goes from here to about here. So it's basically that brain stem from here to here. Okay. The basilar artery is going to feed into the circle of Willis.